Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. Today we're going to be talking about the Read Iris Pro, which is a great way to be able to turn text into something that's editable for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hi, this is Anna Liam from Easter Seals Crossroads. This is about the tech tip for Read Iris Pro 17 for Mac. I'm going to demonstrate this software in a Mac machine, but it is also available in Windows operating system. Read Iris Pro 17 is a software package that uses OCR technology. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. It automatically converts text from images, uh, PDF files, and also paper documents into editable files. It has several versions available. It depends on which version you get. It allows you to merge and split, edit and annotate, protect and sign your PDF files. You can also connect your computer directly with a scanner, scan in your documents, and then make it feed into the software directly. To learn more, check out their website, www.irislink.com. So now let me demonstrate how it works. So here's the I Read Iris software interface. You'll find that there's a menu bar on top and there's some buttons. If you use a Mac machine, you'll find another set of menu right on top of the screen. So uh, I will first activate the file button that will let me pick a file in my local computer. And I'm gonna pick this file in the desktop and then hit open. This is a PDF file and I want to convert it into a Microsoft Word document. So I'm going to activate the button on top in the middle part. Uh, this button is called two docs to DOCX. So I'm going to hit that one. Then it asks me where I want to save the Microsoft Word document in. I'm going to keep it in desktop. So I'm going to hit save. Automatically Microsoft Word launches in my computer and it shows the PDF file in Microsoft Word format. So I can manipulate any text right away. So let me go back to the software. I can also use uh, a feature on the right. There's a text button, I'm gonna hit the text button and I can do a side-by-side -side comparison between the PDF file and the text format, uh, formatted file. Uh, you can tell that it is not doing very well with logos or images. It also doesn't do anything with handwriting. So, um, and I can click on anywhere and select a piece, uh, a line. If I use a screen reader on the computer, I can make it read out loud the text. Here's a tech tip for today. Thank you for watching. Well, that's your tech tip for today. I want to say thank you to the Indiana Telephone Relay Access Corporation for sponsoring our captions today. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.